So while we were gone, one of the biggest news stories, probably the biggest news story, Joe Biden picked his running mate. It's going hey, to be yeah, Senator Kamala Harris. And I, I, I'm very excited for the pick. I'm very excited like for this what this could mean for our country going forward, especially if it could mean that a president who suggested we drink bleach to cure coronavirus is no longer president. But I do like the pick. I think it's, I think it's a good pick. I think it was probably his only... It's probably the smartest choice, and I'm glad he just went with the smartest choice. Yeah. Um, and I'm interested to see how this race will go. Uh, you have some notes in here about Trump's not playing fair. We're going to look back, um, and this might be one of the ugliest times in, in history. Just because mm-hmm. the way the way this is about to go, it's about to get ugly, right? Like yeah. In a political race, a, a political race, now they're going to make it a race race thing. And it's gonna be ugly. It's gonna. They're already coming out here with the angry black man slew, the yeah. angry black woman. Mm-hmm. It's like it's gonna get ugly, and we're gonna we're gonna see America's true colors right now. It was yeah. different with Trump, um, with Barack, when Barack was running. Um, that was we were in a place of, I feel like, change and hope and just uh, so much optimism for the future, right? But mm-hmm. now we're in a in a situation, a climate of despair, um, and that side is a little desperate to win. So they're, they're not gonna play fair, and it's no. gonna get ugly. No, they're not. It's going to get very ugly. And it's going to get disgusting. Uh, one thing that Trump was quoted saying, he had an interview with um, a Fox News Fox News anchor. He said, and now you have a sort of a mad woman, I call her, because she was so angry and such hatred, which Justice Kavanaugh, when Justice Kavanaugh was going through his sexual harassment and sexual assault cases, uh, Kamala Harris questioned him when he was on Congress. So we have Trump calling her angry, calling her mad. Calling her nasty. We know the words. A bunch of loaded terms that we know. People, we know the words and how he's placing them. Yeah, right. Levy like against black women yeah. throughout history. God give her strength, because what she's about to endure in this race, bro. Oh, she got this. You could tell. Listen, yo, if you watch those debates, those yeah. those Democratic primary debates, if you know her history, yeah. you know she got this. You know, yeah. out of the four people that are involved in this presidential race, out of Trump, Biden, um, Pence, Pence. Like she is the sharpest. She yes. has the most energy. She is the most qualified. I mean, Biden's qualified, but let's keep it real. He's seventy-seven, 77 years old. Seventy-seven, but it's cool because this this is like, listen, man. If I'm her, this is a prime opportunity. It's like this is this is this is the opportunity to capitalize. This is yeah. like it like for a presidential candidate because that's who she is, right? Like mm-hmm. that's our presidential candidate. Like this is a this is set up for the lay and we listen like i i don't want i don't who wants an 80 year old president yo he's not even hit who wants an 81 year old president and if he gets reelected, who wants an 85 year old president yeah he should oh, man. that's not okay like and God damn, a lot of people old. yeah he's he's an, he's an old man and he's not even like a, a relaxed old man like he's been in politics he's 77 probably Time for the past spent. 50 years yeah, of his yeah, life. he's exhausted he has to be. And if he's not the sharpest tool in the shed, guess what? Most 77-year-olds ain't. Yeah, you can't <laughs> fault him. Like, what do you... like? What, At like, 77, you can't even fault the man. Yo, we got to get him in office immediately so we can get Kam- Kamala. Kamala in there. Yeah, I mean, immediately. you got to figure Joe's got maybe two years. But, like, I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if, like, yo, my man's tired after this presidential tired. election. <laughs> you know he's going to be exhausted. No, Nigga, they are. You right. have to win the race, right? You have to win a presidential race and then get to work the next day and save a country. But I feel like, I told you this, I feel like they're load managing Joe Biden. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like Joe Biden is on yeah, load, load management key, right now. Load management. Because we'll hear, we'll hear from him for a few weeks and then it's like silence. Yeah. So during that time of silence, he's like Hawaii. He's icing his knee. He's getting his elbow yeah. treated. Like he's getting rejuvenated. He be taking that. plays off, mad, mad games off. You're like, yo, it's a so road game. So many games off, exactly. You don't want to talk to the people? National, nah, national yeah, TV it. game. This nigga's in the yeah. starting lineup. Yeah, I used to hate that last season. <laughs> when Brown would be in, in some sweats, I'd be yeah. hot. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm really happy about this no. uh, this Kamala pick. Very excited and for the pick. I think I, I think I was happy when I saw that. Yeah, and I'm was, not the political guy, you know that. But I was happy when I saw that. No, I, I needed it to be a black woman. Like I, it couldn't, it couldn't it, be yeah. like you know Elizabeth Warren, the librarian. It couldn't be no, no, no. like any of those other like you know powder face women that are basically yeah, the, how the same as the guys. Yeah, she's she's she's, she's ready, um, ready to run. And good for her. There man. is a debate. I'm very happy for her. There's a debate between her and Pence in October okay. that I'm pretty sure she's going to like smoke this nigga's socks. So I'm looking forward to that also. It's going to be a good time. Yo, you talk about politics like it's literally the playoffs. 
But that's what it is. That's though. what it is, though. You know, that's it's, what it it's, is. But I've never heard someone talk about it in that light. It's playoffs. It's March Madness. Yeah. It's. It's urgency, right? Every decision is magnified. Every person you choose to align yourself with is magnified. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like it's not it's it's no games anymore. Yeah. It's you could be eliminated and you gotta go home and just the game is over for you. And it's even worse because then you gotta wait four, four years. Four years for the next and it's, chip. And it's four years of people on television talking about how you lost, just like they did with Hillary. Like you lost. Yeah. Four years ago and they still talk about that shit. Yeah, they'll it, it'll always bring it back. They always bring it back. It's crazy. I mean, I guess that's sports. That is sports. That is that's sports. that's the stuff that the last opponent, opponent and how well you face up against them. And you know that's I mean? true. It's the same thing. I mean, that's what Michael Jordan and LeBron went through before they went won a championship. It was every single year you didn't win. You didn't win. You lost. Especially LeBron making the final so many times. You lost in the LeBron final so many times. Too many times. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So it's it, it is just like that. And I, I want everybody to to understand that like you like uh, the DNC started last night and, and Michelle Obama spoke. And I caught a few of her quotes. Uh, the most important thing that she mentioned, and I'm going to reiterate, is that if you go out there and you do anything else besides vote for Joe Biden and Kamala Harris, you are voting for Trump. If you choose not to vote, you're voting for Trump. If you vote for Kanye, you're voting for Trump. If you vote for Trump, you're voting for Trump. Like, if if what if what that's you what she want, said. yeah, that that's basically what her message was. Like, if you want some change to happen, if you want this nigga out of here. Then you got to vote for Joe Biden and Kamala Harris. They are the best choice. It's like we don't always we don't always get the best candidates in there to vote for president, but it's like but multiple choice. You pick the best option. A, B, or C. Exactly, and you pick and the B options you have available to you. Right now. Looks looks amazing. He looks great. 